Stack with another topic of the week. Uh, what we're going to talk about today is uh, called EPOC. EPOC is your excess post-exercise oxygen consumption. Um, it's basically the how much your your metabolism is increased after exercise um, compared to your resting metabolic rate. So resting that metabolic rate is that how many calories you burn if you were to sit on your butt all day long and eat at normal intervals, keeping a, a regular metabolism, um, how many calories you would burn in that time frame. Um, what EPOC is, is it's the increase of calories after you burn that, or, at, or including your resting metabolic rate, uh, the increase in your, met your resting metabolic rate and for a continuing period of time after you work out. So with cardio, it, on that note, it increases your metabolism for uh, 16 to 18 hours. That's with doing high intensity uh, cardio as well. Rather than long duration doesn't have that same effect. Um, but however, resistance training, um, it, you can increase your metabolism for up to 36 hours. You know, it, it's been in some studies, it's been shown that you can burn for, uh, in that time frame, 32 to, to 38 hours. Um, but that's a long time to be burning more calories than your resting metabolic rate. So it's good to implement that into your routine so that you're burning uh, additional calories, getting more into a deficit. Um, and if you're not looking to get into a deficit, the more calories you burn, the more work your body is having to do. So um, your body is becoming a stronger machine, utilizing more fuels. So um, back to the, the increase. Again, it's, it's, it's good to balance both your cardio and your resistance training. However, I'm referring mostly to the metabolic increase after exercise. So, um, again, weight training is great to do that. You want to implement cardio. Cardio ties in with your resistance training because the stronger your heart is, the stronger it can pump blood to your muscles that you're working out in whichever given exercise. Um, as well as nutrients and such for not only recovery, but during the exercise as well. So again, um, you want to combine both into your routine in a regular pattern. Um, so that was our topic of the week. Definitely take advantage of that resistance training. Um, large metabolic factors uh, definitely help you out. So Chuck Stack, Stack Training here at Evolution Fitness Club, downtown Sarasota, Florida. Uh, we're at 1990 Main Street. Come by, check me out. Um, also, have a good day.